hello everyone welcome back to my channel this is usually not where i would film but um i am doing my updated hair routine and i felt like the lighting today was good in front of my window so i'm sitting on the ground i would usually do this in my bathroom but i just feel like filming here so anyway um welcome back to my channel i'm tiana and in today's video i'm just going to show y'all my updated hair routine i cannot stop looking at myself in the viewfinder i cannot stop um but yeah this is my updated hair routine um so enjoy it i'm very shiny today right here but basically here's some background information oh wait did I do my intro? I'm like very spacey today. Uh, don't forget to subscribe, follow me on Instagram, and follow me on TikTok. But this is my hair. I showered last night and then I took a spin class this morning and I just rinsed out the sweat with water. So my hair is quite damp and I got a keratin treatment on like April 29th and when I'm filming this, it is May 22nd already, what? So I've had a keratin treatment for almost a month now and basically keratin treatments on curly hair just makes it more manageable, makes it dry faster, less frizz, you know, all of that stuff. My hair looks horrible right now, it looks really bad. And also, yeah, so I have the viewfinder here and I have a huge mirror here, so we don't know what we're looking at in this video. This is what my hair kind of looks like with no product, slightly damp, so it is quite curly. And my hair routine that I've been just slaying recently is a blowout with curls. So I have the Dyson Airwrap, and this is the tool that we're gonna use. And this is also gonna kind of be like an updated Dyson Airwrap review on curly hair, because I filmed one last year and I just didn't really like the video, so. We're gonna redo it today. But I use the Dyson Airwrap and I use my firm smoothing brush and the highest heat and the highest fan setting. But before we actually start Dyson Airwrapping, we need to put our like heat protectant stuff. I use Olaplex number six bond smoother. It's upside down so the product will go to the top of it. And then Olaplex number nine bond protector. And when I showered last night, I just did the Olaplex number four shampoo, the number five conditioner. And sometimes what I like to do is on top of my conditioner, I'll do a deep conditioner. And I just did the Briogeo, um, like repairing honey. Maybe I should grab the products and show you. Okay, I'm back with all of the products because I'm trying to be like a good little YouTuber and actually make a good video. But this is what I shampoo and condition with, Olaplex number four, number five. It is keratin safe. I asked my hairdresser, she said, go ahead. And then to top off the conditioner, I use this. Briogeo Don't Despair Repair Hair Mask. It's like running out. And one helpful tip that I have is store your hair products in the shower like this. Because if I were to store it right side up, it would be impossible to get the last drops of product out. So anyway that is it for products and now we're gonna do our like leave-in stuff so i do olaplex number six and number nine mixed in oh my gosh did what happened to this why is it it's like leaking okay whatever okay anyway i just put that into my hair Focus it on the mid to the ends, but I do put a little bit at the top. Um, I need a little more Olaplex. If you have thinner, finer hair, like do not use as much Olaplex as I do. I use quite a bit. So I'm going to blow dry my hair straight with the Dyson Airwrap. And then step two is like curling it with the Bio Ionic one inch long extra long or whatever like this is longer than the typical one and i use verb ghost oil as my heat protectant because when i blow dry all of this stuff into my hair it basically goes away like it kind of just like 
I don't know what happens, but I need more heat protectant and moisture when I'm actually curling. So anyway, it's important to detangle. And then I like to do some sections. So I basically work in like four sections. I do the bottom, I do the middle, and then I do the top left and the top right. So for this, I would recommend these like, are these alligator clips? I just got them on Amazon. I'm gonna link everything below by the way, but it's by the brand Framar. And it just helps me keep everything that I've done out of the way so that I'm not going over it too many times. So basically, you just go through like this. And you'll see a couple clips of me doing it, but I like to go over the front and then go over the underneath part so that I'm making sure I'm getting the hairs just like completely straight. But firm smoothing brush, if you have curly hair, it's the black one, not this one. This one is for people with like finer, kind of like thinner hair. So use this brush. And I'm just gonna go ahead and start. And I just want to make a quick note. Before I got a keratin treatment, this product straight up did not work for me because my hair is too coarse and curly. The curls are just like, it doesn't smooth my hair as well when I don't have a keratin treatment. So I can only use this when I have a keratin treatment, um, which kind of sucks because this is so expensive. But yeah, like it just doesn't work well for people with super curly hair. So anyway, yeah, this is what it looks like. The bottom sections are done. And like I could go in a little closer to the roots. It's hard to get the roots with this because it's just not like built for that really, but let's try to do it. Like I was saying, it is hard to get the roots, but I did the best that I could. And then sometimes what I do is just go in with a flat iron only at the very top of the hair. But first section is done. So now what you're supposed to do is take a clip and just kind of clip it out of the way so that the new section that we're about to do isn't over dried because then it's just like unnecessary heat damage so basically i go from my eyebrows up to create the middle section also i'm sweating because i'm literally in a robe and this is really hot like i was cold in my house and then i'm doing this and now i'm like sweating but anyway turn it on and then Go like that. Okay, actually, now that I think about it, it's probably beneficial to take larger sections because these bristles, if you can see that, they're so far apart that it's hard to get the tension you need to make your hair straight when you're getting really small sections. But the reason why the Revlon brush works so well is because those bristles are like the kind of, I think they're like boar bristles. And they're so close together that you can really just like get tension on your hair to get it straight. But that's also like highly damaging low key. So, you know, this using this, I can really tell that I have a lot less split ends and breakage than when I used to use the Revlon all the time. So anyway, I'm just going to go ahead and continue doing this. Okay, I'm back. I finished doing my entire head of hair and yes, I did change. I was literally dying. I was like sweating bullets. I'm realizing that this tiny piece of hair kind of has like a crimp in it, but that's okay because we're about to curl our hair and fix it. But 
This is what it looks like with just the Dyson Airwrap Firm Smoothing Brush. Um, if I were to leave it just straight, I would probably go over some of it a little bit more just so it's not puffy. Let's go on to part two. Doing my hair is such a process. So basically with curling it, I just go in two sections, top half, bottom half, nothing too crazy. And my hair does feel really nice and healthy. I love keratin treatments. I love Olaplex. All the products that I use are kind of expensive. I do understand that, but it's just what works for me. I'm just taking one squirt of the Verb ghost oil and i'm not putting that at the roots of my head just like at the bottom and the reason why i use so much stuff is because i do have balayage and that involves bleach and i just like to make sure my hair is super healthy because i like having it long and not having to cut off dead ends all the time but i love this i love this it's way better than the olaplex oil that's too thin for me and i got this in my allure beauty box so I'm definitely going to repurchase this. This is what it looks like. Anyway, my hair is now ready to go. And so is the curling iron. And I learned how to do this, I think on TikTok. But what I do is I take a section. I should probably take smaller sections, but I just like don't have the mental capacity. I'm so tired now. And I just twist and then twist more and twist and twist and you could leave the ends out i should probably leave the ends out just for less damage but that's what it looks like and don't touch the curls until you're done usually i'd be like don't touch the curls until you're done with your makeup and then brush through them but my makeup is done because i'm filming and by the way, I use a temperature of 390. So I literally just repeat that all over my head. And I honestly can do this very quickly. Like you should see me before a date. Like I'm just doing this super fast. I can curl my entire head in probably 15 minutes if I'm not talking to a camera, but that's just what I do. I just curl it and the reason I always curl my hair when I'm giving myself a blowout is because I just sometimes with the Dyson air up I just can't get it to be flat enough at the bottom and curling it is just better than straightening it I like the look of wavy hair beach waves it's giving beach waves but I just literally repeat this so anyway, let me explain what I'm doing exactly. So you take the hair section, clamp is facing the mirror, and then you rotate it away from your face and you loosen the clamp a little bit as you're going down the hair. And then you just keep twisting and you have to just keep releasing the clamp a little bit as you're going down the length of your hair. Otherwise you're just gonna rip your hair out but that is literally how it is done. So I to clip it out of the way without messing it up. So there we go. And now for the top section. I was getting a little bit lazy with the Dyson Airwrap. So when I notice I have a crease in my hair, I kind of just like run the curling iron through the crease just to kind of fix it. You honestly just have to get the hang of it, but using a curling iron with a clamp is honestly so much better than using a wand. And that is because the clamp gets hot and the curling barrel is hot. So it just really makes the curls last a lot longer. So if you can figure out how to do this, I would highly recommend it over just using a wand because wands the curls from wands for me at least are just not as good as this okay here's the last last step this is completely optional because 
I bought this product and it was expensive and I don't really think it does anything so we're just gonna use it because I paid for it but it's the color wow extra mystical shine spray I mean I don't know y'all tell me if you can tell a difference but you can just spray it I don't really struggle with holding a curl so that's why I don't use like hairspray I just use stuff to make my hair shiny because it's on the drier side but this is our final result and personally I like it and I think I did a good job I like how it turned out let me try to give y'all a closer look at it so here we are and it looks darker because there's less light in my room because it's just the window but when I went into my bathroom to grab this the balayage looks lighter so that's it for today's video and um, as always don't forget to like comment and subscribe and I will see y'all next time